Good day viewers, you are welcome. Here we have an interesting functional equations and in this video, I'm going to be showing you three different things to arrive at f of zero. First is, I will show you how to find f of zero. And the second is, I will find uh, the general format for this, for f of x. And also, uh, prove that the answer is correct by substituting back the value of f of x into the original functions. So let's get into it. Let's consider the solution from here. We are given f of f of x equals x plus 1. And we want to get f of 0. So the first thing we are going to test is, if I try and replace x here with what we are looking for, which is 0. So let's let x to be equals 0. So by doing that, we have f of f of 0 equals 0 plus 1. And then we have 0 plus 1, which equals 1. So therefore, we are going to have f of f of 0 equals 1. And again, suppose I let in this equation that we just got, let me call this one equation 1. In this equation 1, if I let, if I replace or I let f of 0, which we have in this function. So the function is composite. If I let this one to be C, for instance, then we are going to have f of z equals 1. So I will call this one equation 2. And upon getting this, let's recall back from the first given equation. f of f of x, this equals x plus 1. And now I want to replace x with c. So by changing x to c, as a constant, we are going to have f of f of c, this equals c plus 1, the input and the output. Since we have changed x here to c, it also affects the right-hand side, which is the output. But looking at f of c, we got f of c already from here as 1. Therefore, we have to replace f of c with 1. At this step so here we have f of 1 equals c plus 1 so this is what we have we are going to call this one equation 3 and we need another substitution here so it's just like if I let x to be equals 0 at this time so initially I let x to be equals 0 now I want to let x to be equals 1 and see what we are going to get if x equals 1, then in the first equation, which is f of f of x, we are going to have a f of f of 1, then this equals 1 plus 1. And 1 plus 1, it gives us 2. Of our f of f of 1, this equals 2. But note that our f of 1 from the above is given as c plus 1. So let's replace it here. We have f of c plus 1. This equals 2. So we don't have a chain. If we keep looking at what we have here, we can observe that for our f of 0, we let it to be equals c. That is what we got. We got C. And our F of C, this equals 1. Again, we have F of 1, which equals C plus 1. Then we have F of C plus 1, this equals 2. So definitely, if we check for another one, which is F of we get f of 0 as c, f of z as 1, f of 1 as c plus 1. So if we look for f of 2, that one becomes c plus 2. That is how the chain continues. So which means we have a chain. So given a chain, we are now going to guess a considerable linear form. 
So we are going to assume a linear form since this follows a particular pattern. Both are all constant because C A as well is a constant values. Then let's try and consider this. Suppose I let f of x, if I let it to be equals x plus a, for instance. So therefore, we choose this a as a constant and here is a linear form. And we call it back from the first equations. We are going to have f of f of x. So this will be equals, since we have changed f of x to x plus a. So we have this as f of x plus a. And uh, which everything will be equals. Initially, f of f of x is x plus 1. So we have changed that one to x plus a. And here we have a as a constant. So we get this one as x plus x plus a. So therefore, we have f of f of x equals we have x plus x. So instead of x, we change it to a. f of x plus a plus a. That is x plus 2a. So getting x plus 2a, we're not going to recall again by letting these two equals each other. Here we have x plus 2a. The first and we have x plus 1. So equating these to each others, we have x plus 2a equals x plus 1. So here we have x cancelled x. And if x cancelled x, we have 2a equals 1. So therefore, the value of a here is equals 1 divided by 2. And we now come back to this where we have f of x equals x plus a. And we place a with 1 divided by 2. So we have f of x equals x plus a. As our a is given as 1 over 2, therefore f of x equals x plus 1 divided by 2. So we consider this as the general f of x. And we are asked to calculate f of 0, so which we don't know. If x is not changed to 0, so therefore f of 0 will be equals 0 plus 1 over 2, and which is 1 over 2. So f of 0 equals 1 over 2, which shows is a constant value. So similarly, I call this one a general formula because we can still test for different numbers like, let's say we want to find f of minus 2. We just replace s with minus 2 and we have minus 2 plus 1 over 2. So and that gives us minus 3 divided by 2. So this is how to solve this. And if you try to verify this, so it's very, very simple to verify this. Since what we have is... So we want to verify, since what we have is f of x equals x plus 1 over 2. Suppose I introduce f to both sides. So we are going to have f of f of x equals f of x plus 1 divided by 2. So this is what we have. And in this formula that we have, so suppose I replace every single x with 1 over 2. So therefore, this becomes, instead of f of x plus 1 over 2, we change it to x plus 1 over 2 plus 1 over 2. Substituting this thing back into the general formula that we have. And x plus 1 over 2 plus 1 over 2, so this gives us f of x plus 1. So therefore, f of f of x is equals f of uh, x plus 1. So which shows that the left-hand side and the right-hand side are equal. So thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.